What's up, bros, and welcome. So, once again, it's time to show some more custom Legion and Jungle weapons that I've made. Ten more to be exact. So, first up, I'm going to be showing some custom weapons for the Skull Sorcerer. So, let's take this spear piece right here, attach this black spell to hold it to the like right there. Then, we're going to attach this black piece and move that up. And then, for the last two pieces, we're going to take these. Digi scythe pieces from Ninjago Prime Empire and then we have the completed weapon very simple weapon right here which is just some sort of axe for the skull sorcerer right here second weapon for the skull sorcerer we have something slightly more complicated first up we're going to take this gunmetal gray piece we're going to attach this trans clear lime green chain piece and we're going to attach another one on the other side then we're going to attach this black piece on these chains right here. So pop that on right there. And then we can attach the other one on the other side like this. Then we're going to take this black cell with a hole in it and pop it on right there. And then we're going to attach this other piece on the bottom like that. And then for the last piece to complete this weapon, we're going to take this piece right here, which... I believe is either from Bionicle or Hero Factory or something like that, but then we have the completed weapon, which is supposed to be some sort of chain with this scythe looking blade on there, and you can give the Skull Sorcerer his new weapon. Definitely the most unique and interesting weapon in this entire video, and it is kind of weird, but I love how this thing turned out. Third weapon for the Skull Sorcerer, we're going to save this black piece right here, we're going to attach this upper piece right there then we're gonna attach this black stuff with a hole in it and then for the last piece we're gonna take this lime green sword piece which is from may from monkey kid and then we basically have the weapon which is this random sword but one extra thing i want to add is this black nexonite shield piece and we're gonna attach it reverse and then we actually have the completed weapon which has a shield and a sword or blade so it's a fun little mashup weapon as you can see here and it also has the ability to fold up like that let me give a quick demonstration like bam like that so now the sword is good for stabbing at opponents definitely one of the weapons of all time fourth weapon for the skull sorcerer we're going to take this black white savior hill piece and we're going to attach this upper white piece then we're going to take this gunmetal gray robot arm piece and pop that on right there then we're gonna take this black piece right here and pop that on like that then we're gonna take some white studs with holes in them and attach one on the front and one on the back then we're gonna take this next nice piece and pop it on the back and then for the front we're gonna take this next night spear but in green same color as this one and then we have the completed weapon which is based off of an ice pick but this thing isn't an ice pick it's something used for stabbing people and putting holes in them so yeah fun little weapon fifth and final weapon for the skull sorcerer we're going to take this black white super hill piece and we're going to attach this silver bar piece then we're going to take three studs with holes in them and attach them together and then we can pop it on the top like that then we're gonna take this black piece right here and slide that in then we're gonna take this nexo knights tech infection spider piece and pop it on right there and then slide these pieces up to the top like that then we're gonna take this black piece and attach it to the front and we're gonna attach this axe piece and on the back we're gonna take this white stubble to hold it and pop it on right there and then attach this white fang piece and then we have the completed weapon which is supposed to be an axe but it's also a scythe like axe on the front scythe on the back and it's one of the weapons of all time once again there's not much else to talk about it's a fun little weapon all right bros now that we're done with the skull sorcerer next up it's time to show five custom weapons that i've made for mora we're gonna take this butterfly sword piece and we're gonna attach this black bar piece to the bottom and we're also going to attach this black piece on the bottom we're going to attach two actually and then we can attach this 
jewel piece right there. Then on the top on one side we're going to attach the silver blade piece and on the other we're going to attach this black piece. And then we have the completed weapon which is supposed to be some sort of spear or blade, a long weapon for Moro. Very simple and it's definitely a fun little weapon for him. Now the second weapon that I have for Moro is a very important one, probably one of the most important weapons that I've ever made, but it's also one of the simplest. So I'm going to be showing you bros how to make a katana with two blades. So all you need is a binocular piece in any color and you can take these katana pieces in any color. I'm just using these digi ones because they're lime trans green which are good for Moro. So basically attach them into the binocular holes and then you have a dual katana blade thingy and i know this is a no-brainer weapon but i think i'm the first to come up with this so yeah doesn't that look amazing all right third weapon for moro i have another version of the dual katana thing and this time it's not for katanas it's for just about any blade piece so i got you we're gonna take a binocular piece of course but we're also going to attach this piece on the bottom. I'll explain why in a second. And then on the top, you can just take like any sort of blade piece. I'm just going to use these digi blades in lime green for Moro. And then we have the completed weapon. Now this is compatible with most blade pieces. If you want to make a weapon that has like two blades. And the reason why I added this piece is because, well, the blades aren't straight. They're bent in this position. So that's why I had to use something right there so that the blades are facing the front as you can see here but yeah i still like the katana version more but this one is also a cool alternative fourth weapon for more we're gonna take this piece right here and then we're gonna assess this black piece and pop it onto the top on the back we're gonna take this black piece and pop that on right there then on each side we're gonna take this black piece right here and insert one on this side and we're also going to attach another one on the other side like this then we're going to take these black clip pieces and we're going to attach one on each side of course and then for the last two pieces we're going to take these digi dagger blade pieces and then we have the completed weapon i have no idea what this is man i just thought it looked cool and i made it so i thought i'd show it and this is when the blades are flipped out for the stabbing positions, but we can also flip them back in when they aren't in use like this. And yeah, that's basically it for this weird ass weapon. Fifth and final weapon for more, we're gonna take this black dragon hill piece and we're gonna attach this black piece on the top like that. Then we're gonna take this black circular piece and you can pop that on right there. And don't push it all the way in because if you push it all the way in like this, you can't attach a black stud on the with the hole in it on the top, which is what we're supposed to do right now. And then gonna attach this digi blade piece right here. And then we have the completed weapon, which is supposed to be a sword with a blade and a shield as you can see here doesn't that look nice but anyway that's basically it for this video i hope you've always enjoyed these five custom weapons that i've made for the skull sorcerer and of course five custom weapons that i've made for more now all of these weapons seem kind of familiar because all of them just have black and silver and lime trans green parts so all of these weapons can be mixed and matched for both moro and the skull sorcerer that's why I decided to show all these weapons in the same video because all of them basically have the same color scheme so the two of them can just like mix and match weapons but yeah feel free to check out my other videos i'm listening to make custom minifigures have a great day godspeed bros